Okay, on this page, I'm going, or this time around, I'm going to build a page, and I'm going to build the About Us page. Now, I've already built it, but I'm going to take you through the process and show you what I did. So, first thing we do is go to Pages. Um, one thing that you can do that's really easy is to just duplicate a page. Now, I've already created all kinds of different pages. The Playground Safety PDFs. Um, I've created this page and of course we're just going to have download PDF uh, surfacing is a page of its own meaning there's only one item on that page okay playground equipment and safety when you click on that it's going to take you to the basically a shopping cart which has all of our items on it and so forth our services now this is actually uh, a bunch of blogs so each item you can click on so first of all it shows you the blogs all the blogs and then each item you can click on and you can see what the item or the, what the information is since we're going to be building the about us page I'm going to show you how I went and did that now there's a couple of different ways you can do it and first of all you'll notice that there's no slider there's no images here this is purely just about us now the reason I did that was to look different from the surfacing page. Now, what I did was I took surfacing page and I copied it and then edited it. But you'll notice that this information down here is different from what's on the About Us page. And I'm going to show you how to choose something different. Okay. So the first thing is we can go to surfacing. We like how the surfacing page looks. So we're going to go to, from the dashboard, just click on Pages. And we're going to go find the sur sur uh, <laughs> surfacing page. Okay. What we'll do is, it's about page five. There's many, many pages in here. I'm going to delete all of these items uh, later on. And here's our surfacing page. So I've got that. Now there's two ways to copy this page and recreate it. First of all, on the right hand side is copy to a new draft. You click on that and what that's going to do is right now it's working in the background and it's creating the same exact page. Then you can go and just type in about us up here and then edit this, edit your, uh, your link right there. And then you can edit the information right here. I'll show you how to do all this stuff in just a minute. Uh, and then once you're done editing all that stuff, you can hit publish. Okay. But there's another way to create this page as well. Let me hit uh, cancel on that. Go back to all pages. Now notice when I hover over something, see this clone right here? you can clone the page that easily as well. So I'm going to go back to the service page. And I'm going to click clone. And it's going to create a surfacing too. You can see my other draft that I created right there. Oops, it took me back to the beginning. So I've got to go back to that page. <clears throat> So now there's two surfacing drafts, all right? So we're just going to go ahead and delete one of them. Just click trash. But you can see that just clicking clone created a second uh, page. Now what I can do is go in and edit that draft, all right? Click edit here. You can see that it automatically created surfacing dash two, all right, or surfacing dash one or surfacing dash copy will be the secondary. So we're going to create about us, about us, whoops, dash us. Click OK. Make sure there's no spaces, all lowercase for this. Now to make this easy, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to your existing site, copy the about us, 
and I'm just going to hover over this or select all of this click paste and boom that's done all right it is pretty much that simple now what about the content that's in it so the slider that's here currently or um, the information down here at the bottom these are all called elements an element is a slider it's basically a box that has certain information on it now this information is being grabbed from somewhere else okay or this information is being grabbed from somewhere else so what we're going to do is change that around so we've already changed the content okay now the content is the first thing here so we don't need to mess with that there's a divider the divider is this thin line right here okay so we want to keep that thin line in it's kind of a, just a separation mark and then there's columns down here now I don't want any of these columns I want to do something different on this page so it's not the same as the surfacing page okay so what I'm going to do is trash all of these click on the trash can click the trash can click the trash can click delete now I'm going to add an element all right the element that I'm going to add is portfolio now basically this is just going to grab all of our portfolio pages and oh, is that what I want yeah portfolio pages okay so click portfolio then click add item now you can see that it's only one quarter of the size right here what we want to do is hit the plus sign here until we get full size all right now inside of that we can choose what we want to show now what I'm going to do is the portfolio sizes are going to be one quarter but it's going to go all the way full width so there's going to be four of them all right first thing I want to do is change this to four so if you only if you add portfolio items later it doesn't pop up into that new page the category of where you're pulling the pack oops don't know what that was about I must have hit a button The category is where you're going to pull that information from. So the home page four is what I've named those four items that are on the home page currently. So if you go to the home page, I have the home page four. So you can create different categories in your portfolios. In this particular case, I'm using the home page four. But you could also choose playground safety regulations. Um, there's other things in here that are demos, so we're not going to use any of those, but we're just going to use home page for enable f filtering. Now, just I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to show you how to turn it off in just a minute. Oh, I'm hitting return. That's why I'm. That's why it's kicking me out. Instead of save. All right, we'll just leave this for. Uh, choose category. Home page four. Show titles, yes. Show excerpt, yes. Show read more button. Now this is important. The way that I currently have this set up is. Hold on. The way that I currently have this set up is to show that information, but I don't want that information. Like I don't want them clicking on this this information because it's actually going to take them to the portfolio page instead of the link page that I have these designated to. Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn off the website, turn off the read more button. Show download PDF, no. And then I'm going to click done. Okay, so currently there's still a slider on this. All right. You can select no slider or you can have the slider. You can easily add an uh, image to the slider by just clicking one time. You can add a whole bunch of different images and then you can go in there and edit what the slider says. So, 
pure safe fencing. Now you can have that slider link somewhere or that slider image link somewhere or not. Okay, in this case we're just going to say no. But if you were going to say link somewhere, you just click on link to a URL and it's going to ask you for the path on where you want that link to go to. Okay, in our case there's going to be no link. Click on done. And just to change this around a little bit, you can make pictures move around, you can put them in certain places, you can do, you can trash them right here, you can delete all of them, it's going to say input slider, you can just click no slider, you can have different types of sliders here, um, so, you know, you all your options are right there, okay? Since we're done with the information, we've picked out what uh, portfolio we want in here, and now we can just go ahead and click publish. And then I always hover over and then I right click and hit open link in a new tab. If you're using Internet Explorer, you might not have that option. Um, okay, so this is the page that we just built. Now, this is, uh, you're choosing, you know, what, what can be shown. So there could be multiple different items that you can have shown here. In this case, we already know it's the home page for the four uh, images or information boxes that we have on our home page. So what I'm going to do is turn that off. Okay, since that's the only one I want them to, to look at anyways. Go to Portfolio, click on Edit. Filter. Okay, enable filterability, click No. Click Done. Go to update. Let me just click on this page and while that's loading, click on that page and then you can just click refresh. And now you can see that filterability box is gone. Okay. The rest of the site is fine. Not so sure I like the slider on here because we have sliders on you know other places we have it on the surfacing we have it on the home page um, so I don't think I want to have it on the about us page because it's going to look all the same so let me go to the about us page and just to not confuse you later on I'm going to delete these out And then I'm going to click no slider, okay, even though it closed the whole thing down. Click on update. And now I actually have two About Us pages. One is About Us with this link here. And so I'm going to go to All Pages. I find the About Us pages. You can see that there's two of them here, okay? So what I'm going to do is open this one here, and I know there's one small difference. This one has these little tabs down here, so I don't want this one. So I'm going to go ahead and trash that one. Now I'm going to go over to Menu, because right now that one's trashed. We click on the About Us page, it's showing the old or the new about us without those tabs okay so it automatically took its place so that's good all right so that's all we needed to do, do there to learn about the menus make sure you watch um, how I do the menus uh, video that I've pre provided for you okay so that's how to create a page